What's up guys? Welcome to week three of our series called Legacy. Before we get started, let's worship together. Worship is celebrating the greatness of God. So turn up the volume wherever you're watching this, get up on your feet, and let's sing and dance together. is for living with you I've made my decision You lift me up fill my eyes with wonder for every young in your love this freedom's untainted with you no moment is wasted
Have you ever seen someone make a bracket for a sport they really like? When someone makes a bracket, they usually have to make a bunch of decisions on which team is going to win until they get to the final ultimate champion at the end of the bracket. It can be kind of hard to make a bracket, right? I mean, maybe your top choice will make it to the top eight, but maybe they won't make it all the way to the top two. Today's Bible story is about a different kind of team who had to make a tough decision. They might not all have wanted to make this decision, but today we'll discover how the Holy Spirit helped them with this tough choice that they had to make. Check this out. Hi there, you little chicken nuggets. It's me, Coral, and welcome to Crow TV. What is up? How's it going? What it do? Just kidding, seriously. But what's up? Do you know what this is? It is a priceless family heirloom. Apparently this belonged to my grandpa, and his grandpa, and his grandpa's grandpa. But you know what the coolest part of it is? It's also a time machine. No matter what time of the day it is, as long as I tap this here uh, time device, it always brings me back to 3.15. Pretty cool, right? So guess what I do with my cool time clock? I went back in time and did something I always wanted to do. It ain't skydiving. It ain't bull riding. It ain't finger painting. And it sure ain't traveling back to Florida to teach everyone how to juggle iguanas. I don't do that anymore. No sir, no ma'am. I, Carl, Eugene, Ulysses, Patricia, Abercrombie, and Fitch Hooper have started a, drum roll please, basketball team. I started a basketball team. That's right, I'm basically like LeBron Jordan. Touchdown. <laughs> TJ, what's up? Carl, what's going on, man? How you been? Really, really well. Like, really well. Super well, TJ. Well, I'm glad to hear that, man. So tell me, man, what's, what's got you in such a good mood today? Well, I finally did it, TJ. Okay, okay, so you did what? I did it. Carl, what'd you do? TJ, <laughs> I did it. Carl, I don't know what you're talking about, friend. What, what, what did you do? I started a basketball team, TJ. What? I did it! So, how did that happen? I, I thought you gave up on that idea last time. Well, it's funny that you should mention time because time is exactly what fixed everything. <laughs> Carl, why are you talking in that I have a time machine that I use to go back in time to convince my friends to join my basketball team voice? Because that's exactly what I did. I have a time machine and I used it to go back in time to convince my friends to join a basketball team. Right, but... How did going back in time change anything? Well, I never asked my friends before, but this time when I went back in time, I asked them. So I found out that apparently one of my friends always wanted to be in a basketball team. So I talked to him and we got four other people to be part of a basketball team. <laughs> now we got a basketball team, <laughs> thanks to time travel. Dude, uh, yeah, congratulations. I mean, I do have one question though. What's that? Well, basketball teams are made up of five people, right? Sure. You just said you had six people. Sure. So... What? Looks like you have one too many people. Oh no, oh no! I have too many people! This ruins everything! Now I have to choose between uh, Garrett and Dave! Well, maybe. But I think our story today may be able to help you out. You sure? Absolutely. Let's take a look at Acts chapter 1. So you know how there were 12 disciples, right? Judas left, right? Exactly. So there was only 11 now, and the disciples needed to add one more disciple. Oh, so they just picked one person, right? Well, you see, it wasn't that easy. They had two different people who could take the spot, but they could only choose one. Oh, wow. That's kind of similar to the situation I'm in right now. Yeah. The disciples, they were a team. So they decided to pray to God for the answer, and then they did something to help them make the decision. A coin toss? Not quite. They cast lots. What does that mean? It was a way for them to make a decision without any of them playing favorites. Oh, so they found out who it was going to be? They knew either of them would be a good fit for the team. Oh, so they found out who it was going to be? They did. It was either going to be a man named Matthias or Barsabbas. And after they cast the lots, it was decided that Matthias would be the new disciple. Good for him. Matthias made the team. I'm kind of sad for Barsabbas, though. Oh, uh, because he didn't make the team? Yeah, and that's what I'm scared of with my basketball team. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Well, I have some good news for you, Carl. Barsavis made the team too. But you just said... I know, I know, I know. But when it comes to being on the team for Jesus, everyone can be on the team. What do you mean? Well, even though Matthias was the 12th disciple, God still had plans for Barsavis too. God needs everyone to be a part of the team because everyone can do something special. Wow, I guess you're right. So I can be a disciple of Jesus too? Absolutely. 
And you know what, Carl? Just because you have six people on your team doesn't mean that you have to get rid of any of them. I guess you're right. There's a lot of basketball to get played, and more importantly than that, God has a lot of work for us to do. So we need everyone. Exactly. And with our friends. And the Holy Spirit helps us do God's work. Hey, DJ! <laughs> That's our big idea, buddy. Today's big idea is the Holy Spirit helps us do God's work. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, a two, three. The, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit helps us do God's work. <laughs> yes, yes. TJ knows. I'm glad we talked because I was really stressing out about the whole thing. I wish I could go back in time and maybe uninvite someone so I don't have to choose. Oh wait, <laughs> I can. Um, Carl? You know you're not doing any traveling anytime soon. Uh, bro, your watch is broken. Whoa! <laughs> My buddy Gary just texted me. He says he don't want to play basketball anymore. He says he's taking up competitive napping. Oh, well, good for Gary. See? <laughs> it works. Time travel. It's dangerous. Dangerous game, but I'm willing to risk it. Yeah. Okay, kids, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. Okay, let's recap. Jesus had a team that was made up of 12 people. They were called the Disciples. And after Jesus was arrested and crucified, one of Jesus' disciples, Judas, died. After Jesus returned to heaven, the disciples were all together in a room and Peter stood up and told the disciples that they needed to find someone to fill in that spot after Judas had died. They nominated two people and then the disciples spent a lot of time praying about who should join their team. Eventually, they chose a man named Matthias to join the disciples. God wants us to be on the team too. Because of the legacy that Jesus left us, we all have the opportunity to be on God's team. God has given us the Holy Spirit to coach us. The Holy Spirit guides us. The Holy Spirit helps us make wise choices. And the Holy Spirit gives us our own unique talents, gifts, and abilities so that we can tell others about Jesus and maybe some more people will join the team. Not only that, but the Holy Spirit helps us know what God's work is. We can work together with other members of God's family to help do God's work everywhere. Let's check out this month's Bible verse. This month's verse is from Romans 8, 14. Here's what it says. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. All right, take just a few seconds to say the verse with the people around you. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Scroll down to check out this week's discussion questions and activities for you to do together. Have a great week and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye!